Um, basically, we, we knew we had to win the game. So um, we just, you know, buckled down and, and made sure we locked in into the game plan to, to just finish the game because we know how important the game was. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. That's a fair way to say it. Mm -hmm. but, uh, what did you do? Um, uh, I just, you know, kept a positive mindset, and uh, I knew my shot wasn't falling. So uh, I just, I just told myself I'm gonna go after every rebound and uh, and play defense. And when I start doing that, I mean, I start getting going. So that's what happened. With Jalen, you've been side by side with him, I'm sure, at practice and also in games. Just how much growth have you seen from him from today compared to where he was in like November? Oh, a lot of growth. Um, like I said earlier, he he just gonna keep getting better, man. He just he does a lot of things. He's a huge presence. He get rebounds. He block shots. I mean, when he does when he do those type of things in a game, you know, it elevates the team, you know, and it elevates me to you know get rebounds, block shots, and you know try to win the game. So. Yeah, like I said, the dude's just gonna keep getting better. That that second half, it was a lot of it was him and then you veterans really out there on the floor together. Um, how are you guys embracing this moment here, where you know you've, a tournament bid is there for the taking, but you got to go take it? How are you guys handling this as a veteran group? Uh, basically, we just staying locked in on what we got to do, and you know, taking it game by game. Um, we know we can't look past nobody. And uh, we can't be anxious. We got to just, you know, take it day by day, go back to the drawing board, and that's practice, watch film, and, you know, get ready for our next opponent. Yeah, Mark, and then back up to Jason. You, you mentioned we can't be anxious. Did you sense that, you know, felt like the crowd maybe was anxious there in the first half, but did, did you guys feel – did you ever – did you feel like that mindset kind of carried you through there when you guys were down early? Uh yeah, most definitely we 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 knew we had to win the game. Like I said, we just um it it, it started off a little bumpy, and so we just like I said, we just made sure we came back together as a team to you know finish out the game. How good did it feel for Penny? Penny trusted you with two fouls tonight in the first half. <laughs> How'd that feel? Oh, that felt good. Um, just to you know go back out there because he he never does that like ever. But uh, when he did that, I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna go in there, but I ain't gonna foul. That kind of give you some extra adrenaline, like. Oh yeah, most definitely. Just um, him, just you know, giving me confidence um, to go in there and play smart, and you know, try to help the team. You had to uh, pick one or two or three things that you guys have to do in order to get to where you want to go. You know, not so much looking at individual opponents, but like things that you guys can control. What mm -hmm. what are what are the biggest Oh, uh, I'll say defense for sure. Uh, no question, our defense has to be better. Um, we allow teams to score easy sometimes. And I feel like if we, you know, lock in on our defense and, you know, box them when they miss, box, get the rebound, I feel like we'll be good. Um, because offensively, we can clean up things too. But offensive, offensively, you know, that's more of our strength. And uh, just defense, you know, we got to just lock in. I'm just curious to go back to when you were sent back in with two fouls. Were you surprised? What was your reaction? Oh, when he, uh, yeah, I was a little, I was a little surprised him putting me back in. But I saw on the uh, on the bench it wasn't a, you know as many bodies, as many bodies. So uh, I knew I had to uh, go back in there and you know kind of finish out the game. <clears throat> Anything else for DeAndre before we switch over to Jay? No. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, yep. Uh, Yeah. Go ahead with questions for Jalen. Jalen, you uh, tied a career high with 22 points. I think that's the most points you scored with 17, the most points you scored in the half. Mm -hmm. I guess we, we're just out there feeling it. Just how, how did it feel to kind of just go out and kind of dominate the way you did? Um, I mean, it was good just to get the win, honestly. Just try to do whatever I can, come up with the W, and keep moving forward in the season. As your growth as a player, what are some areas you think you've just gotten a lot more comfortable or just a lot better in since you first got on campus? Uh, just understanding college more, the game of college basketball more, understanding where my spot's going to be, where I'm uh, able to score the ball at, 
and just how teams going to guard me. Tied a career high in points. I think you career high in field goal attempts, career high in minutes as well. Um, did you know going in that you were going to be kind of staying out there for the majority of the game? Uh, uh, no, nah, I didn't. Uh, I mean, I just – just follow Coach Lee. He keep me out there. I'm out there. If he don't, I'm on the bench chair. Is that a – like, do you welcome that? Like, because, I mean, it's kind of do or die time. Mm -hmm. Every game now from now on is almost do or die time. Like, are you kind of using that mentality to propel you? Yeah, uh, I'm just I'm just doing whatever the coaching staff feels like. I trust them with everything. Um Whatever they want the team, whatever direction they want the team to go in, I'm, I'm ready to go in. So, I mean, whether that be me in the game, me out the game, I know they're going to do what's best for us to win. Hey, Jalen, um, so I noticed about, what, four minutes left in the first half. You put up big numbers or made big minutes, 14 mm -hmm. minutes at that point. Uh, you were visu visibly winded, mm -hmm. right? It's a lot of minutes to play. What's going through your head when obviously you're tired, you're very tired, but – you know you need to be on the field or you know you need to be on the court to continue treatment for your team. Keep going. Um, just keep going. Keep with the energy. Don't like I, I don't I don't I don't want to slow down because I'm tired. I try to keep telling myself in my head to keep going, just keep going, keep going. And then I mean coach take me out, I get a breather, come back in. Hey Jalen, in the first half, they only singled you when you just licking your child from they only had one guy on you and you just <laughs> had your way. What, what was going through your head when oh they only put one guy on me? What was going through your head, man? Um I mean, I feel like like uh, most of the teams that we played coming in, like coming in this one, they have doubled me. So definitely seeing one guy on me, I kind of just like uh, me with the confidence in my game. I don't, I don't feel like one person can stop me down low. So when I seen that, yeah, I just, I just knew I had to dominate. Even coach said it like, if they're going to do that, you, you got to dominate. Was this one any sweeter being it being your hometown team? <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah, you could say that, but honestly, I'm just happy we got the win. We keep moving on the season. Because it looked like there was one jumper you hit. And you turned back around and you're running back on defense and cut a look over at Coach McKee and kind of <laughs> smiled at him a little bit. Uh, yeah, uh, that was that was just because I missed the first one and then he had said something. So I was like, okay. The second one, this is part of the game being competitive. Mm -hmm.